Soyuz 17, Russian, Su-17, Union 17, was the first of two long-duration missions to the Soviet Union Salyut 4 space station in 1975. The flight set a Soviet mission duration record of 29 days, surpassing the 23-day record set by the ill-fated Soyuz 11 crew aboard Salyut 1 in 1971. Crew Backup crew Reserve crew Mission parameters Mass: 6,800 kilograms, 15,000 pounds. Perigee: 185 kilometers, 115 miles. Apogee: 249 kilometers, 155 miles. Inclination: 51.6 degrees. Period: 88 8 minutes. Topic. Mission highlights Salyut 4 was launched 26 December 1974, and Soyuz 17, with cosmonauts Georgi Grekko and Alexei Gubarev as its first crew, was launched 16 days later on 10 January 1975. Gubarev manually docked Soyuz 17 to the station on 12 January, and upon entering the new station he and Gretko found a note from its builders which said, "'Wipe your feet!' Salyut 4 was in an unusually high circular orbit of 350 km miles when Soyuz 17 docked with the station. Salyut designer Konstantin Feoktistov said this was to ensure propellant consumption would be half of what was needed for lower altitude Salyuts. The crew worked between 15 and 20 hours a day, including their two one half hour exercise period. One of their activities included testing communication equipment for tracking ships and contacting mission control via a Molniya satellite. Astrophysics was a major component of the mission, with the station's solar telescope activated on the 16th of January. The crew later discovered that the main mirror of the telescope had been ruined by direct exposure to sunlight when the pointing system failed. They resurfaced the mirror on 3 February and worked out a way of pointing the telescope using a stethoscope, stopwatch, and the noises the moving mirror made in its casing. On 14 January, a ventilation hose was set up from Salyut 4 to keep the Soyuz ventilated while its systems were shut down. On 19 January, it was announced that ion sensors were being used to orient the station, a system described as being more efficient. A new teleprinter was used for communications from the ground crew, freeing the Salyut crew from constant interruptions during their work. The cosmonauts began powering down the station on 7 February and they returned to Earth in the Soyuz capsule two days later. They safely landed near Selenograd in a snowstorm with winds of 72 km per hour and wore gravity suits to ease the effects of re-adaptation. <laughs> 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 